still morning good morning uh, welcome to my channel thank you guys for watching liking sharing and subscribing uh, so I wanted to talk to you I'm just going to it's just here the knowledge just came to me so I just wanted to talk to you about the tarot still teaching you how to read tarot still teaching you how to read tarot just a little bit brief history I actually you know last night I went to I had some fun last night I went to race I was racing last night in some nice cars Ooh. I had a good time last night. I got invited to a nice event. So I hope you guys are enjoying your night. Oh, amazing and very exclusive event. Um, so I had a really fun time. And you know what's so funny is the day before, let me tell you, the day before I drive a sports car and the day before I was saying I'm going to get into racing, I'm going to start racing. And do you know the next day my dealership sent me an invitation to a racing event key and I had no conversation. So my my the key point that I want to tell you is it's very important to just be mindful of positive thinking. Okay, you have to be extremely, extremely mindful of positive thinking. Um, but you can't have positive thinking unless you have knowledge. So if you don't know that, you won't have positive thinking. But I just wanted to share that experience with you because the day, like the same, the the prior day, I was like, oh my God, I got to get into racing. I love racing. I love cars. I keep talking about that. I can't believe that I like cars as much as I do. I never, and I can't believe that I want to race. Like I really, I'm about to get into racing. Um, so that being said, and then the next day I was invited to a racing event for at a luxury car that show or something like that. So anyway, um, and I got some really cool gifts. So just be a mindful of your thinking, guys. You have to really be extremely mindful of your thinking. I'm telling you, it's very important for you to be a positive thinker. Let me tell you, I go through extreme war fear daily, constantly. My life is complete warfare. My life is completely successful, though. You know. And so also yesterday, I was on the road and I was coming back home. And of course, I get harassed by the cops all the time. It's okay. Because I expect it. I know what's going on. I know about structure. And I know that uh, this is the age of structure. So I'm battling structures. I'm supposed to battle the corporate structures and the inequity that is the government. Government is inequity. Government is the kind of the draconian caste system, to be quite honest with you. They do want to control your life. Um, so you kind of have to really stand up for yourself. Very, really know what you're dealing with. Know what you're talking about. Do not allow anybody to bully you, including the government. Um, so that being said, or to control you in any way, shape or form, they are constantly, especially because I do this and I'm going to be talking about all of them, um, challenge them. You have to challenge them. There's nothing wrong with challenging them. There's nothing wrong with becoming, becoming a new person. There's nothing wrong with them. So that being said, I wanted to talk to you guys about some tarot. Oh no. So I was still telling you the story. So I was coming home from the event that I went to and like, it would just came to me like this. I need to be, I should be teaching tarot. And you know, if I like thunder hit my damn car, like literally like thunder hit my damn car. I was like, whoa, like something came out from the damn, something came from my left side, which is the masculine side, actually, which is the masculine side. Um, so very interesting. And I find, I feel like I'm extremely masculine in my energy. I feel like I'm very balanced, but I've always been in very touch. But as soon as I said, I have to start teaching galactic, um, galactic, true, historical, ancient tarot, um, so that you can understand as your signs, what are some challenges that you're going to have as your signs? What is the history of your sign? Cause it, it's your history. It's you. So that being said, I also wanted to teach you some, uh, not teach you, but just share something that I just, you know. As I said that I was going to be doing this, um, let me just show you what some of the cards mean if you're dealing with tarot. And I'll give you some history behind why the cards mean what they mean. Um, I'll give you some history um, and I'll tell you exactly why it means. I can't find the card now. I wasn't really going to, I wanted to do it, but I didn't really want to, you know, do it so fast. But it's okay. So, Oh, so this card. If you get the four of pentacles, I'm sorry, can you see the card? If you get this card this is like um this is not a good card ever so if you're watching tarot if you're doing tarot on yourself it's never a good card so it's uh, just a little bit of um history fast history on us as humans because my channel is all about um my channel is all about um human tech humans as gods you know we are gods so we must know how we work how we function who we are so we have some things called silver cords radial cords we have all types of cords we are a system we have chakras we have ley lines we have horizontal lines we have dna strands um 
not all of like I've been telling you all of us kind of are different species and sometimes um, if you don't know that you know in history that um, throughout our own history our DNA has been tampered with our DNA has been unplugged our DNA has been um, corrupted tainted stealing stolen because humans are just so amazing so we have gone through a lot of warfare throughout the ages and so you're still experiencing a lot of warfare in the ages and of course I'm gonna go through hell of a lot of warfare for teaching you these things because your life is definitely going to change while I tell you these things and if you need help with anything on this journey you definitely should let me know so your DNA can be plugged out okay so you don't have DNA so that's what that means when you are this small, it means that you're being, you have, a, you're not supposed to be this small. Does this look like a normal structure? This looks like a negative form, right? This is not a normal structure for you to look like. This is never normal for you to look like. Um, you are bending, slouching, you know? So when you're like that, one, your DNA is plugged out. Um, your DNA could be plugged out. Your genetic switches could be turned off. Your motor fibers could be turned off. Um, your ley lines, your axonal lines, your parietal lobe. These are different parts of your body that you need to be aware of. Your silver cords, your axonal lines, your um, radial cords. You need to know how you function. You need to know how you. Um, you need to know how you. Um, you're created. You need to know how you're created because honestly, you have. Cre you are a creator. So you need to understand that. So your DNA could be plugged out if you see this card. Um, your brain could be turned off. Not all of our brains are turned on, and we don't even know that we're supposed to turn it on. We don't know that we're supposed to turn on our genetic switches. We are, we are a machine, so we don't even know what that these parts exist, and so we are, we're stuff like this, and so this is your life. This is really your life, and you might not even know that. You live a four pentacles life. You live a very small, very tiny life, um, so just be very aware of that. And so, um, also, this card... There are false teachers that are very mad at me on YouTube that I am doing this. They have been um, teaching a lot of nonsense and I have actually came off of their channel and I've actually stopped watching them in hell. Believe you me, I'm going through hell with their ETs and, you know, the different government agencies that sponsor that nonsense because they kind of want to keep us in veiled. You know, they want to keep us veiled and control of our lives. And honestly, they really can't. Um, do that I'm, and I battle all day long I've been in I've been in warfare the whole weekend and I still had a great weekend I've been in warfare the whole weekend and I've had a great weekend I had a lovely weekend um, but like I said my whole life is warfare so you just be just be very careful and I'm okay with that because at the end of the day I am God and if you consider yourself a God being you know that the gods get challenged all the time you understand that you understand why that they are challenged all the time but a God stays remains composed and that's what I'm learning. That's what my guardians are teaching me to remain composed. Um, becoming your true identity, your true God identity. That's what Ascension is about. Ascension is about mechanical work. Ascension is mechanical work. I'm looking for this card. I want to show. Okay, this is a good one. When you see like these little pages, these are, this means that you are, this is who you are. This little person is who you are. Now, if you're 50 years old and you look like this, that means that one, you're you're in some type of construct. That means that you're in some type of construct that you're not supposed to be in. That means that you're not in control of your life. If you're still look, if you're still this young in a, and you're 50 or you're 40 or whatever, that means that you ha you're still in some type of construct. There are many different types of constructs. I keep telling you guys about black boxes. I keep telling you guys about the looking glass, the army and the military and the marines and the um the Marines, the Navy, the SEAL, the Air Force, I deal with them all because we are supposed to be understanding that we are cosmic beings, so we interact with the cosmic forces. We are supposed to. And so the cosmic forces kind of come in to give us nutrients and um, to give us downloads. And so when I am getting downloads, like they block, they try to block me up so that I cannot get the downloads that I'm coming that are coming from. So they can absolutely, you know, they can absolutely fly and they constantly do fly over my home and they constantly do. But they're trying to block out the guardians. I keep telling you that. So they are they're very strategic in what they do. And I just and I'm just I'm just learning that even though I say militarization, you know, you're if you're awakening, be prepared because um the army is heavily involved in ascension just just so you know that and how are they involved they um in order for them to train they do assimilate a lot of stuff 
in their own facilities, within their own facilities and within their own branches and within their own different divisions of the defense team, they do have training that they go through and how they train is that they have to assimilate everything. So let's just say they're going to Iraq. They're going to build an Iraq assimilation inside of their facilities. They do this. And so, hence they are in Iraq but they are not in Iraq at the particular moment. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you can think that, oh, you're astrally traveling and that's good. No, you can be, they can be assimilating you astral traveling. Okay. So these are just things that you have to understand, um, can happen. So you just have to be very aware. Um, and they have many bases and they have, they have everything that we as star seeds and earth seeds and light workers and Things that the guardians are doing, like our true higher selves are really trying to do, are heavily and heavily resisted. Just heavily resisted because that means that we can create energy. That means that we can create energy. That means that we are in control of everything. We're in control of time. We're in control of everything. If we understand that they can assimilate a whole ocean, if you can understand that, they can assimilate an ocean. You have to understand what else can they assimilate. You understand you have to just be very mindful of the programs and the agendas that are going on here. I deal with the CIA all the time. Um, because I am a star seed and because I have had experiences with the CIA, they they come and they try to um, remove your memory. They try to... Re exactly how they... The warfare that they do on, let's say, I don't even know if they're even enemies, to be honest. I don't even believe that we have enemies, to be honest. I don't even believe in war anymore. Um, and if you and if you really look at the numbers, the way that I, and I'm a numbers person, I still probably am very Atlantean in my mind because I get numbers and I just can look at numbers and I, and I have, um, I have finance, I'm, I major in more financial sectors. Um, if you look at the numbers and you understand that as the United States of America, we can donate million, tri I'm sorry, trillions of dollars to other countries who are absolutely in poverty, but we can absolutely donate trillions of dollars to the Department of Defense, but we cannot donate any money to other causes. You can understand why I cannot believe in war. You know, you can understand why I cannot believe in anything they say. So that being said, you have to really be very aware and be very careful about what you, what you choose to listen. And I only listen and I only watch because I... I interact with them and when they come to me with some nonsense like let's just say I speed I have to I have to understand you're checking my speed I'm checking you too you just donated trillions of dollars and I'm driving past a bunch of homeless people out here but you can't donate a home to these homeless people so when they try to check me I have to be able to check them. I mean this is just how you know you kind of have to be able to you know just know what's going on you just have to be able to know what's going on just for your own God self. You know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be ignorant and naive. These structures that exist, these government structures that exist are definitely draconian in, in, in matter. And this is exactly why they watch us like, well, they watch me like a hawk because primarily I do a lot of things that my family don't do. So I'm already kind of like out of that arena i live in like west bubble nowhere and everyone lives in west somewhere where everyone is still congregating and i kind of do my own thing and i'm kind of building my own life and just doing tarot and i'm doing very a lot of things that are just not acceptable and not appropriate and that is great you know i don't mind i'm going to continue to do it and um so you just have to be very aware um of what the pro and and you know like i said my family you know some of my family are still very low vibrations still fallen in nature and so still fallen in nature. And so they would very much like for me to be, you know, they want the whole, they want to continue to have this family on this program, have that family on this program so that this family can remain the top of the food chain and this family can remain at the bottom of the food chain. So and they want to, they want to control your income. They want to control your marriage, who you marry, what race you marry, how much money he makes, how much money he doesn't make. Is he, is he successful? Is he not successful? Oh, I get everything all the time. Um, I get hit all the time in all areas of my life but that's how you ascend the true tree of life is when you know things when you don't know what they're doing you can continue to go circle and circle and circle and circle and not get anywhere so you just have to be careful so that being said a lot of us are not on natural energy to be honest with you there's not a lot of natural energy on the earth so i'm just being very honest with you that's what these synagogues and these churches are for 
Um, they are built on sacred, um, real sacred ancient grounds where energy does come to um, transmute to the earth. And then those energy centers have kind of been um, taken hostage, basically, pretty much like hostile takeover, you know. And so we don't have any any natural kundalini, any natural God source energy, any true rays or any true and energy. We really don't. So you have to be, there is false energy out here. There are false kundalini. There are false energy. A lot of us are on energy that are not God's kind of source energy. And so these are just things for you to be aware of. Just be aware. Never want to see that four of pentacles. You never want to see that. That means that you're in somebody's, um, in somebody's harness. You're in some type of contraption. You're in some type of starships. Don't think that starships are good. Please do not think that starships are fun and good. No. That means you have some shadow work to do. That means you have shadow work to do. That means you have to do some clearing. A, a spaceship or a starship is very confining. Um, and they can manipulate a lot of things in your energy field. And this is, these are just training stuff. We're all in training. You you have to understand that you're still training. So these are not anything for you to be um, stressed out about. You're just training. You, you're still training. So just be aware of that. Um, there are many types of bases. You know, the government has a lot of bases. So you have to understand, you know, got to kind of shield yourself and things of that nature. Build shields for you. I'm trying to look for that page of, oh, here we go. This page of wands is definitely the worst card. This is the worst card in tarot that you can get. This is the most low vibration. This means that you are uh, you are being controlled by so many things that you have no idea about. This is this is like you are in um you are in a prison. I know that the, you consider the Eight of Swords prison. No, this is prison. This is a young person who has no sense. This is a person who has no sense, clueless. This is somebody who's sleeping, who's unaware of the different agendas that go on in um on ascension this is somebody who is totally sleeping and they they have sleepers technology where they put you to sleep and all kind of stuff so you just want to be careful they, this ascension is intentional intention uh ascension is intentional okay i'm on tarot and you bet i'm doing tarot now you better believe that all of the false tarot readers that i used to listen to and that i used to watch they're ets that have given them platforms and have given them money to kind of sell your souls and trade your souls and and do all kind of stuff with your life and keep you going on nonsense believe you me those ets are here and they're ready to take my life for this and i'm ready to take their life as well. i mean it is what you kind of have to give people what they give you or you're kind of constantly going to be victims and you never want to be a victim so you just want to be aware of this card page of wands is a terrible card um if you see this card you better start doing some warfare Okay, you better start doing some serious warfare. You see this card, you better start doing some warfare. They're trying to keep you with four pentacles. What can what in the hell can you do with four pentacles? So you just better be very careful about um this is somebody that's very low. This is like yeah, I just saw something. This is like some black this is like the black hole. This is like the fall of mankind. Okay, so you just want to be very careful of that. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe.